So thank you so much if you're still here watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. My name is Chris where I make fun reviews for movies and more. And today this is a personal review where I'm gonna show you what I bought at Barnes and Nobles. Now this is gonna be like a one time, one and done type of video for Barnes and Nobles. And obviously if you love books or even if you love movies or music, they have a great variety depending on your location in the back of the store. If you love just entertainment, physical media, <coughs> Barnes and Nobles is one of the last standing great uh, brick and mortar outlets, right? So obviously we've all been there before. It's a great store, but was my experience a great experience? Was my pickups a great pickup? Let's go over it right now. I'm gonna show you one by one what I bought. It's a lot of stuff. I don't really shop there anymore. Every time I do go, they're like, you wanna sign up for our membership? It's free, okay, whatever. But then I never go to like a year or two later. That's why I hardly try not to sign up for those things. But this was, uh, I have a lot here. So let's go through it right now. Hope you enjoyed that vlog. The random first book I have here, or actually before that, let me see if I could go by, excuse me, media outlets or media styles. I'm gonna knock this out first. So I got two movies here. Let's get the movies out the way. <laughs> I bought Mad Max Fury Road 40% off on Blu-ray. So I don't have this movie. I thought that was a great pickup for 10 bucks. Next, I got Robin Williams, Comic Genius. This comes with uh, his first HBO stand-up special, plus his uh, second HBO show, a few uh, night show appearances. This was 12 bucks or 13 bucks. Now, I've, they also have like random toys or puzzles or games there. So I did buy a puzzle. Now, if you watch my recent Harry Potter Christmas uh, unboxing um, product review with the book covers, I did mention how I thought I bought one from here and I did, but it wasn't the book covers. Thank goodness. Otherwise, I'll be a duplicate. It'll be a waste. This is actually Harry Potter Quidditch, 100 pieces. So obviously, it's a small puzzle, but I mean, if you love Harry Potter, who doesn't love Quidditch? Now, this was 10 bucks, so... A little pricey, I guess, for 100 pieces. I forgot how much I said my bundle was. This is, you probably get ripped off if you buy these separately. That's why the bundle is better because you get more for your dollar. So Quidditch, that's fun. Now, this is a big ticket item right here because Barnes & Noble, they're smart as a company. They try to adapt, not just sell books, but anything they can that people might like. So here we have a Lego set my first architecture set. I'm trying to get back into Legos like I've shown you before my previous videos. So I have Legos architecture for London, Great Britain. That's pretty sick. I mean, with the with the Ferris wheel, all these iconic, uh, I mean, it says it right here. Uh, National Gallery, Nelson's Column, Big Ben, London Eye, Tower Bridge. This is gonna be pretty cool and fun to hook up. So I did buy a magazine because they have so many magazines there from everything you could think of. This is such a random one. It's like, I don't want to call it comedy because it is a, it is innovation and tech. But for some reason, one of my favorite people out there, Steve-O is on it. Steve-O, entertainer turned entrepreneur. So Steve-O, he has his own podcast. He's making waves. He's definitely doing his things in regards to business and just productivity. So I know he's a jackass, literally, <laughs> but I'm excited to give this a read because uh, you'd be surprised with some of these people, how they not turn their career around, but just kind of like adjust or adapt. It's very interesting. So um, I guess we'll go into it now. I have a book here. This is called Dragon Hoops. Now it's actually a comic, but I love the, what attracted me to this was uh, the cover because it feels like a basketball. It's a hardcover, but then when you look inside, it's actually like a comic book, you know? Pretty crazy. And I love basketball. It's always been, always been one of my favorite sports to watch and play. So that was a good pickup. This is a buy one, get one, 50% off. I think that's why I picked this up last second from what I remember. Speechless, controlling words and controlling minds. So here's this. This is a little motivational strategy book. I'm always trying to read into business books or self-help. This is a big book right here. This is definitely fiction compared to this, which was nonfiction, 20% off. The Blade Itself. So this looks like, like a murder story. So I did get books that I don't really know much about. 
but that's a hefty one. Now we're on to the last and final bag. Here I have a very strange book, kind of like the basketball book, but it's the comic book story of video games, the incredible history of the electronic gaming revolution. Now this is cool because look, it's also a comic book. But I love the cover of this. I love video games. So I think this is also going to be another very fun read. Now I got another hefty book. Oh, this is another, I believe, a self-help book. Becoming Supernatural. This was part of the buy one, get one, 50% off. How, un how Common People Are Doing the Uncommon. So this is a book I think I found online and I've been wanting to pick it up for a while now. So I'm glad I got this. Could add that to the collection. This is another doozy. My goodness. The Shadow of the Gods. Anything with a dragon, I'm a sucker for it. I I'm very simple, y'all. I'm telling you. It ain't that hard to sell me on something. If you got like a dragon, you got me, you know? Legends tell of the great long ago battle of the gods. Like, that sounds epic as F. Epic AF. Like, come on. So, I'm not going, I don't know how long it's going to take. I even think, I was about to say, I don't know how, how long it's going to take me to read. But I also think this is part of like a trilogy or all these books are now, right? It's crazy. So the last and final book I have here is actually very special because it's actually another comic book collection. <laughs> so this one, I think I was impulsive on the way out. They did have it up in front, but it's Marvel. So it's a Marvel uh, superhero collection. I don't know if you guys could guess it from the vlog, but I ended up buying it. This is Black Panther. Now these are by Penguin Classics. They do like a, a compilation of like the best comics from these superheroes. And in this one in particular, Black Panther, I mean, Dude, like, look how many comics are in here. And the reason why I got Black Panther, because obviously he's not, like, one of the main ones at first, like Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man. So with Black Panther, you know, obviously I mainly found out about him through the new Marvel movies. So something like that, because I think it's unfortunate with the passing. Um, but he did such a great job at playing that role that I, I want to read more about it, you know, because everything comes from somewhere, right? So it's very interesting to look back on the history I mean, this goes back to the 70s, I think I just saw. It's crazy. 60s, my God. So to wrap this up, guys, to wrap this up, I did have a good time shopping there. Um, it was really fun with my friend. Uh, shout outs to her for taking her time recording me <laughs> and uh, being patient with me as I bought all this stuff that I hope and plan to read one day. It is a lot. Um, like I said, I don't really shop there often. So this is a one and done shopping haul personal review for Barnes and Nobles but overall with the collection I bought I'm really happy with it and with my experience there it was fun from the, just the shopping from the wide variety to the to the cafe itself so overall I would give this a hype experience and hype simply means it was a great time 10 out of 10 a rating I had I loved it I had a great time shopping there with my friend um, just looking around at all the brands they have and all the media formats they have because the, the the location close to me, I'm very lucky that they still have a, even though it looked like in the back they were empty, they still had such a great variety of vinyl, DVD, Blu-ray. I mean, Lego sets or even puzzles or toys. I mean, that didn't go in the kids section, obviously, but that looked huge too. So, so much to go there. I definitely suggest try to go to Barnes & Noble's once in a while, whenever you can, and just try to support the company as much as you can, you know, because for me, myself, I am lazy when it comes to books. I mainly buy them off Amazon because it's more convenient. And I do think it is cheaper unless you sign up for Barnes and Nobles and they're like their annual uh, membership, which is free. I think it does benefit you. But overall, guys, check it out. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you like the video. If you did enjoy it, if you're new here, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.